Okay, uh, I just wanted to show you guys a project I was working on. It's pretty cool. Um, I mentioned in stand-up that I was just working on over the weekend for something to do. And uh, basically, it's supposed to be a uh, lead form for a real estate website, but it would uh, have like a live chat type of thing. And um, there's definitely like commercial versions of this that are much better, but uh, I just wanted to see if it's fun to build one from scratch. So uh, this is uh, HTML, CSS, and jQuery. And it looks like this. This is with the formatting. There's a couple of animations like the send button and uh, just some uh, like dynamic things with the formatting and the scrolling. Um, quickly, here's the CSS file. This is just everything that has to do with the styling of the page. And uh, then also there's the HTML here. Um, this is jQuery reference and then uh, JavaScript, um, JavaScript and HTML page. And then the variables that I collect from the uh, prospective seller would be address, how soon do they want to sell. This counter is used to make sure it doesn't store bad responses into the variables. Um, offer type, their name. So basically, they have to say something that goes into the predefined um, inputs, and then it gives these standard outputs based on what they say. So you can just write uh, thousands of these theoretically, and then you would have like something that appears to be a fully fledged like AI. Because if they say the wrong thing, it's just going to uh, tell them, "Sorry, my responses are limited. Please try again." So uh, this works with a, uh, a function JavaScript where um, it has this counter. It's going to say counter. The counter is going to increase each time they say something that's a valid response. And uh, so like when it's two, then it knows it's setting the address. When it's three, it knows it's setting the move out date. When it's four, it's setting the offer type. And uh, so it kind of works like that. And then um, again, if they totally miss it all the way at the end, it'll just say, uh, Sorry, my responses are limited. Please try again. So quick example of how it would work. You can say, I'd like to sell my home. And I'll say, OK, where is it? And you see on the debug console, just say the script started, counters at zero. And so I'll say it's in Atlanta. OK, and then it says address Atlanta. Address has been stored. Now the counter is at two because it was another valid response. So if they make an invalid response here and say, like, I don't know, then nothing happens in the debug. The counter doesn't increase. It just tells them to try again. So I'll say uh, next week is what I want to sell by. Now it has stored move out next week because that's a valid answer. And then cash offer agent, I'll just say uh, cash. Now it says offer type cash. And then uh, what is your name? There's my name. And then it stores name Taylor Green. Um, so that's just all the four nested if statements there, but you can drag it out to like 10 or 20 if you just write a, a whole bunch of predefined answers. Um, so just one more time from the top to sell my house. Okay, so I don't have that one in. My house. Um, so let's see what I have here. Uh, okay. So sell my house. Okay, and then we'll say it's in Cobb and next year. And I'm looking for a agent. Um, and like some of these, it's just like grammar. Like you can do an agent, a agent, just try to cover as many cases. And then my name. And so it just stored the variables as it goes. So it's just kind of like a proof of concept fun project, but basically you just have to type out um, a whole bunch of predefined responses and it will it will uh, look like it's like an AI or a chatbot, um, but just something cool, cool little project.